What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. We're working on it, Miss Pac-Man. First thing though, let's test the game out. So, took the Pac-Man out from where it was, brought it down to the shop because of the air conditioning, it was too hot where it was. Basically, I brought it down, unplugged it, replugged it in, and I think we could call it, it looks like the screen is dead. There is power going to it. Um, in my other video when I recorded it, I never actually unplugged the power from the cabinet. So now that I've kind of reset it, it looks like the screen is not coming back on. So we're gonna open up the arcade. We're gonna take a look at some of the schematics on it. And lastly, we're gonna take a look and test our game elf. So real quick, I kind of have my Jerry rig going on in my little setup. 24 inch asus on this vertical mounted basic and i just wanted to test to make sure the game elf booted up just plugged it in luckily with this monitor once it receives video and power once it gets video the screen does turn on automatically so that's always a plus check it out we have it loaded vertical exactly what you see right here is going to go inside that cabinet again this is using a jama based system so jama hardware on this we do have our external power supply on this. Basically, I'm gonna run through the game list real quick, maybe with you on it, I don't know yet. But I'm gonna run through the game list and see how many buttons we need. The manual calls for six buttons, which I highly doubt like this has Street Fighter on it. It's all vertical, so I think tops is four buttons. But basically, I'm gonna to try to play with it right now and basically jerry-rig our buttons. So real quick, I was just moving around my wires off screen. And we do have the vertical on this. Um, again, you know what it is? It kind of looks weird. But this actually, in all honesty, is the same dimension that's in there now. Um, it looks kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's just because of the screen on it, but again, the width on this and the height on this is the exact same dimensions inside this cabinet here. I mean, it is very weird. But basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just measure it one more time. So I got the game elf up and now I notice this has two player games on it. Like two players. So now that kind of changes my control panel scenario here. Um, we might have to put two, two joysticks on this. Um, I thought this was just a one. I do know this is a cabinet style, like, you know, JAMA system, but I didn't realize that I needed two joysticks on this now. Um, well, this game elf right now is uh, challenging me a little bit. So I think Miss Pac-Man is going to be converted into a two player. But real quick, let's do what we all wanted to really see. Let's plug in the Pac-Man. Got this up and opened. Um, had to actually jerry rig this. I had to take a crowbar to this because there was no key to it um, inside of here. We got a Coimex, so the Coimex are great. They do work. There was a set of keys right here. I don't know what I did with those keys because I do need those keys to open up. Right here. Here we go. Huh. Set of keys were inside all the time. Usually RKs, the, key, the keys are always hooked right here. There's an actual little hook here. So this is here. Again, we got power to it but I believe the screen is officially dead. Now that we unplugged it, check it out real quick. Zoom in on this, let's get a focus. Namco, we got a serial number, 2459. This is assembled 2001. So, I mean, again, some people say you shouldn't really show it, but whatever. My number is 2459. We got our keys here, let's open up the back. Nice little hatch. Take the sliding part out, and there we have it. Old tube, you never want to touch that, and you never want to break that. Um, I did have that one time we did break that um, while taking this out, and you literally, it sounded like a bomb was going to go off. It just, air goes into it, and you got to run for the hills because sometimes they do explode. We've got our power supplies here. Interesting, actually. Very small jamma on this. Look at that. Let me get a light real quick. Take a look at this jamma right here. 
Very small. Not really standard. Um, 2000 Namco. Looks like it's a reproduction. Again, we got our power supplies here. Again, monitor. I mean, again, this is what all the weight is. This monitor right here is just massive. We got volume controllers here, even sometimes video controllers. But this is officially it. So maybe the board is good. The board might be good, so we might be able to eBay that. In all honesty, any time I work on a cabinet like this, I leave all this hardware here. This way, in case somebody wants to bring it back to life, I don't delete it, I don't throw it out. It's just this all here. I mean, I can't tell. It looks like that's trying to fire. But yeah, this tube is done. Again, you can see here, we have a little bit of a controller here. I mean, again, I, I'm just playing with these knobs because I know for a fact I'm swapping this thing out either way. Nope, see, we brought up the brightness on it, but that was really it. So, big thing about these control panels, you go underneath, there's actually a hook here and a hook here, and this one actually had a hook right here. Um, it's already unhooked, but check out, again, I gotta get my flashlight. Let me get my flashlight. This way you guys can see everything. But whoever owned this in the past, I mean, this is just atrocious. I never seen this, but if I could get my light to stay, they actually double edge taped the control panel down. God awful, never seen that before. Now, don't wanna use it by the joystick, but now our control panel is free. Check it out. I mean, original, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, um, me just banging on the side of the cabinet now, brought that back to life somehow. And the screen looks pretty good right now. Nope, we are out. So it might actually be a bad connection to the, oh, there we go again. It might be a bad connection to the JAMA possibly. Ah, maybe this light wasn't on before. We might have a bad cable here. Really don't want to do this live, especially with it plugged in, but let me do that one more time. Let me see something. So checking out at least power supply and JAMA. I pushed down the JAMA. This fired up. Um, well, this is interesting. We could always adjust the brightness on this, but real quick. Even that you kind of see the screen actually does minimize a little bit. The screen, I mean, a lot of burning on the screen. You could still see the Pac-Man overlay. Um, interesting. Again, really shocking. I'm going to let this run overnight. Might be a power supply, but again, you still do see the deep burning on this. It's a classic. I really don't even want to touch it, but let me fix up the brightness. Well, guys, it was beautiful while it lasted, but I was playing with it for like five minutes. And as you can see, we are slowly, slowly dying on this one. Let me unplug it real quick. What was very shocking was that the color output on this was amazing. Again, took the controller to the monitor off to play with it. Let's give it a reboot. Pac-Man boots up. I think... Yeah, I think this is the screen, guys. I was literally just now, like, I'm playing with it. I'm like, oh, my God, I don't have to touch this. I'm not going to change this. This works. Beautiful colors. You kind of see it in when I, but literally after 10 minutes, you see here, the game started getting these squiggles right here, like right at the top. There, this It was even worse here. Look at that. Game started getting these squiggles, and then that was it. Okay. All right. I'm calling it. We have to replace this. Um... I think it's a dead screen. Some other people might think otherwise. Let's see the counter on this. What does that say? 
53,000. Oh my goodness. Let's do the calculation real quick. It actually costed two quarters to play the game. 53,000 divided by two. This had 26,000 quarters run through it. 26,000 times a quarter. No, I'm sorry. It had 53,000 quarters go through it. 52? Oh my goodness. 53,000 quarters times 0.25. This machine since 2000 made $13,000? Could that be? <laughs> and I mean, there you go. I mean, it stinks. You know, we the, 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 we hear it. I could hear it, but it's gone. I mean, I'm. I thought the game was working. I thought I was gonna close this up and not mod it, but we're gonna have to modify it. Again, we got the power supply. That again, you'd never want to touch that. That's just death waiting to happen. But I mean, again, I was playing with the controls here, and as you can see, when I spin the dials bring up some brightness and contrast if I want to can move the screen and no this is just dead it is official the screen is gone that's it guys all right guys well that's it for this episode again quick look around that's all gonna go in the garbage and we're gonna basically put this game elf in we're gonna get a new monitor right now heading to micro center and get ready for the next episode as we remove monitor, get ready to mount it, and we will go in depth on this mod. Let me know guys if you think I should do a two player. Should I do a two player control panel? I mean, it has two player games and it is really a cocktail table kind of JAMA system on it, but you guys let me know if I should do it. Guys, I'll see you on the next one as we fix Pac-Man.